Good morning. We're fishing Solana Beach today, another beach on the San Diego Beaches series. And we're here at low tide, spotting some nice structure. Right here in front of us. So again, it's low tide, but this is honestly a money spot right now. I see this holding fish right now. And as the tide rises, it's only gonna get better. And we've got kind of, right where that wave just bumped up, there's another little trough that dives down there. So, so we've got shallow water, shallow water, and then this really nice hole starting here. And after that little wave that forms, you see it goes shallow and then it drops down again and then it's shallow where the white wash is right there. The white wash, white wash, it's gonna dip down here. See where it just dissipated? That's where it dips down and starts this big hole. So we'll be working this section. I'm gonna go try and look for a couple other spots and uh, gather my bait and hopefully by the, the time I get all ready, this'll, it'll look a lot less good, but it will be great. So we're here. This is Solana Cardiff area. Uh, and if you show up to this area, don't expect to see any structure this great. Uh, I fished this San Diego for a while and it's, it's tough to come by structure that looks this good when it's purely sandy structure. Um, and that's what this is. This is just a hole, um, maybe a bunch of little troughs, but if you show up and see something like this, absolutely fish it. Don't be discouraged if you're not seeing something like this because this, in my opinion, is, is pretty rare to come up and, and see. So if I don't get hit in the first 15 minutes, I know it's still a little low. Out there, it looks a little deeper, like almost it's ready. But here, this is the spot that I really want to hit when it rises up a little bit. Um, if I don't get hit in the first 15 minutes, I'm gonna almost have to try Lucky Craft, run a lure through here, because I could totally see Howl in here. Um, not that I see them, but I could imagine them. Um, I know there's a little bit of weeds right now, so it might make the lures pretty tough, but all in all, awesome looking spot. All right, first cast here. We've got some awesome structure, and I got a bunch of soft-shelled sand crabs. So, not that this is one, I probably should use them, but um, I'd say about 50% of the sand crabs that I got were soft shell, which is awesome. We'll try some normal hard shells first and see what we can do. This looks incredible. Do not expect to see this if you're trying to try it out yourself. All this sandy structure changes on a daily basis. But, I mean, really good opportunity just to point out reading the surf. You've got waves are crashing consistently, right? Well, you've got the white water section here. You can see where they consistently crash, and I, I can tell it's shallow here. And right about there, you'll see this one do it. So, right, it crashes there. That's where it's really shallow. And behind that, it's that really deep section here all that little, the wind ripples that I'm talking about. You see the line, the horizontal line that's forming right where the wave just built up there? That's the end of the deep pocket where it gets shallow again, where the white water just formed way out there. That's the end of the shallow section and past that it should be deeper. And that shallow section can be termed a, a sandbar, but you've got really shallow section and past that it's deeper. We probably can't pass, cast out that deep, but this is really the section that we're reading and as the tide comes up, I'll be sticking around. It looks like it's gonna stay overcast all day, so it should be pretty good. I'll be sticking around for a while, and you'll notice that it won't look the same later, but given that I'm here, I know it's, it's at least somewhat similar, and I know how quickly sandy structure can change, which on the daily it can change, but if I can spot any similarity or resemblance that it's still there as the tide comes up, I'm gonna basically assume it's it's relatively there. Gosh, that was a tough read. Felt like what felt like a nibble, but the wave was all up in my line. I mean, right, right shallow, I could see fish could totally be there. It's just got that vibe that it's all too shallow. 
Tension. He's still there. There we are. Oh, he's on. He's on. He's on. Gosh, that was really fickle. It's got to be purged. Yep. Nice little barred surf perch. We had a little bit of some first cast luck, and we're about to get the second cast underway. Structure still looks awesome. This is still the best looking spot in my mind. I got hit right about out there. Um, and I might try that, that section next, it's right over there. But uh, I, I do want to drop it really shallow in, in this section here. Got my first soft shelled sand crab of the day. You can see that he's got, she's got row two, nice and almost opaque looking. Size is just about perfect either way, but you can see it juice out there a little bit as I poke her through. And I've got the hook hidden right in that row. Let's see what this one can do. So I'm gonna drop it right in this really defined shallow section. Maybe a cast of 20 feet tops. Let's see. Literally right there. A lot of times it just works for me, but to keep my focus and like some measure Make sure I'm not pulling my, my baits early. Sometimes I'll just do continuous countdowns for 20 seconds. So I'll just start at 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Oh, we're gonna hit. Come on. You kidding? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Nope. Oh, we're getting tops. Come on. There we are. Oh, oh, nice little pole. Not a perch. Maybe there's a perch. <laughs> That's a big perch. Nice barred surf perch. So in this situation, I don't want to cast into the white covered water. A lot of guys I hear, oh, the white, the white wash kind of on top covers it and it makes the fish feel more protected and their feeding turns on a little bit more of it. In reality, that white water is just shallower water. And you want the cleaner, darker blue water that has the wind ripples on top and all in all cleaner than cleaner looking than all the white and sandy water. Um, so for example, this spot, we've got a little bit of a trough right there. This is still I think the best better looking spot. I'll give that a shot. Right, so I was feeling just a little bit of Pressure. All right, lift. Nope. There's. There we are. Good hit. Good fight. Good fight. Okay, so I know we're on sand crabs, but this feels like a halibut. It felt like it sat. I'm gonna hate myself for saying that, but it's just it's what it felt like. Unless it is a halibut, wouldn't that be awesome? But it just I felt a nibble. It sat. Looks like a spotfin croaker. Yeah, spotfin croaker, nice one too. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, he's got bars on him and everything. Oh, breeding colors and all. Man. Oh, hell yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one.
That's a nice one. Maybe 18 inches. So that was a sweet surprise. Nice golden croaker. A male stopping croaker in breeding colors. That's what they're referred to as. Um, really nice surprise. Definitely wasn't a halibut that I uh, <laughs> just jumped to conclusions. A halibut on sand crabs would be a, it'd be fun. But it did, it fight like that. It, it, I felt just down pressure. It went up, I felt a nibble. And then I turned the camera on and it, it was slack. But down pressure again, nibble, and that was it. And then, it, and then we set the hook there. All right, so we just hooked up, got some mid-bite. Definitely a yellow, hit really hard, and uh, gave up a little bit, but there we are. Nice yellow and croaker. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Same spot pretty much all day, and I think that I think I was a little early on calling low tide. Um, I checked earlier in the morning, but I, I forget when it was supposed to. But I, I think it dipped down a little bit, and now it's it's on the rise. Um, but it structure is still right there. Just this whole stretch um, should be filling in a little more, and and I think it shows because as it started to fill in, we went from perch who will we'll just really hold the structure really well and given that there is a little structure and I think there is a little bit of a reef in here I think it's mostly dug out little troughs and stuff but I did get snagged so there's got to be a reef somewhere in here a little rock or something but as, as the tide's coming in here we've got yellowfin croaker and spotfin croaker and I'm maybe 10 feet from the lip that drops down into the, uh, the trough here. So this lip should be pulling sand crabs over into the structure there, the hole. So not a bad morning so far.